How you doing, beautiful saints? We got a good, powerful, wonderful word. And our word is coming out of 1 Samuel 8, 10, 12. And we got 1 Samuel 8, 18, and 19. And this is called a ruler's infliction. Because we need to understand, saints, that when the children of Israel wanted to be like their neighboring countries and they wanted a king, they rejected Samuel. So Samuel went to the father, and the father told Samuel, if they don't reject you, Samuel, they are rejecting me. But go and tell them the manner of king that is going to reign over them. So this is wonderful, saints, right here. So we can see when we reject the goodness of God and the righteousness of God, and we allow the enemy, which is in man, to rule over us, these are the things that come with that. So let's see right here. Let's start up at 8, 10, and 12 of 1 Samuel. And Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked of him a king. And he said, This will be the manner that the king shall reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them for himself, for his chariots to be his horsemen. So we see, saints, this is a powerful word right here, because essentially what the, this king of this ruled, ruling age has done is he essentially has took your people to go and fight his battle. He has taken your people to go and handle what he wants them to handle, not by the law or not by what has been established in this earth, but about how he feels and what he thinks. So let's continue. And some shall run before his chariots, and he will appoint him captains over thousands and captains over fifties. And he will set them to ear his ground and to reap his harvest and to make his instruments of war and the instruments of his chariot. So understand, saints, it becomes about his his, his needs, his purposes, his desires, what he wants them to do. It's not about what has been established by the forefathers of this world to lay the foundation and basis for him to move. He is going to be trying to bypass all of that and to be about his business and making people about his business as we see in this world already. Let's finish up. And he shall cry out in that day because of the king which he shall have chosen you and the Lord will not hear you in that day. Nevertheless, the people refuse to obey the voice of Samuel. And they said, Nay, but we will have a king over us. Understand, saints, when we refuse God, but we decide to have men over us, men is going to always do us wrong because man's natural nature is of the enemy. So let's understand what the Lord is saying to us here in Jesus' mighty powerful name. Amen.